Today is Thursday, October 30th, and we are about to do some nice morning yoga. So if you are here for our lift and shred, you should be nice and warm, and this should feel really nice to stretch out those warmed up muscles. If you're just joining me now for yoga, this will be a great way to wake up. So welcome. Modify where you need to, listen to your body. If you want to take the next hour to just completely relax on your mat, that's also an alternative. So this is your time, your practice. We're going to start with a little bit of relaxation. So let's go ahead and recline on our mats. Let your arms rest at your sides, palms to the sky. Close your eyes and start breathing deeply in through the nose, expanding belly back and rib cage. Exhaling out through the nose, feeling that same area of the body contract and empty. Allow our breathing deeply, relax your face. Soften your eyes, relax your jaw. Relieve any tension in your neck and shoulders. And let's breathe down the arms from the shoulders all the way out to our fingertips. Guide your breath into your legs and we'll breathe from our hips to our toes. Breath into your spine and we'll breathe from the top of our head all the way down to the tailbone. Feel your breath make its way in between each segment of your spine. Let's roll our eyes, the head to the left, breathe into the right side of your neck. Bring the head back up and roll it off to the right, breathing into the left side. and then come back to that neutral place. And then from there, let's inhale both arms to the sky. Exhale, let them float back down. Inhale to the sky. And exhale back down. Inhale to the sky, and this time on the exhale, let them float all the way back. Feel your shoulders relax on the mat. Once there, I want you to push out through your heels and stretch out through your fingertips. So we're actually tensing the body and making it as long and open as we can. And then let it all release. We'll inhale the arms back up. And exhale, return to your sides. From there, let's pull right knee to chest, give it a nice close hug. We'll flex and point. And then roll your ankle around, lead with your big toe. And then just let your foot rest. Switch the legs, in goes the left, out goes the right. Same thing, we'll flex and point. And then draw that easy circle, lead with your big toe. And then just rest your foot. And let's bring both knees in. So now we deserve a nice tight hug. Pull those knees right against your body. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Add a gentle rock side to side, massaging either side of your spine. And then come back to neutral and we'll circle both knees around and around. Let's reverse our circles. We'll hug the knees in nice and close. Let them release. And again, hug them nice and close. And release. Now let's rest the feet down. Space your feet apart about his hips distance. Toes in slightly, heels out slightly. Enough space between your heels and your gluteals that when we lift up, we're activating the hamstrings and the buttocks so we tighten the belly, peeling off with that one vertebra at a time. And just maintain that lift without forcing any weight into your neck. Feeling the work in the back side of your body. 
Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, melt down slowly. One segment at a time. Ah, once you've made it back down, let's pull right knee in. And just stretch your right leg towards the sky. Push out through your heel. Do a little plane and flex while it's up there. And then just hold your foot flexed. Try to bring the toes a little closer towards your face. And let the head, leg drape all the way down. Once there, we'll bend that knee and pull the left knee in. Extend the leg up. Push out through the heel and do a little plank flex. And then just hold the foot flexed, pull in a little closer. And release all the way down. Once there, both knees to chest again. Nice, tight hug. Good, now as we exhale, we're gonna roll up. And then once we made it up, easy press leg position. Allowing your palms to open face to the sky, relax your shoulders from your ears. Face is soft, breath is deep. Dropping the chin to the chest, we breathe into the back of our neck. We lift the head into back to open the throat. Try again, draw the chin to your chest. Lift the head to back, open the throat. Dropping chin to chest. Lift the head to back, open the throat. And then just make your way back to neutral. Allow your right ear to fall to the right. Chin drops down, left ear rolls left. Chin drops down, right ear rolls right. Drop the chin and roll to your left. Drop the chin and roll up to your right. Drop the chin and roll to your left. Drop the chin and roll up to your right. Now once it's there, place your right hand just above your left ear. Push your left palm into the mat. Breathe up the arm and along the side of your neck. Extend the right arm as you gaze up towards your right hand. Stretch a little farther out of your waist and side bend to your left, right palm to the sky. Inhale back up and exhale that arm down. Let shoulder roll from back to front. And then let your hands return to your knees. And we'll drop our chin to our chest. Tip your left ear to your left. Drop the chin down and then tip off to your right. Drop the chin again, and tip to your left. Drop the chin, and tip to your right. Once more, drop the chin, and tip to your left. Now let's place our left hand just above our right ear and push our right palm to the floor. Reach the left arm high, gaze up, stretching through the waist, Side bend to your right, left palm to the sky. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower down. Shoulder rolls from back to front. Increasing the size of our circles, letting the arms be limp as they pull around. And then just stretch your arms out wide, open your heart, open your throat. Let's bring the backs of our hands together as we round the spine and then inhale and open. Exhale, we round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Once more, inhale, open. And exhale, round. And then let your hands return to your knees. We'll take another breath while we're here, lifting and opening. Exhale, let's go a little bit soft, and we're ready to move on to hands and knees. So once we've made it onto hands and knees, we've got shoulders over hands, hips over knees, tops of the feet on the mat. Fingers wide spread. Turn your hands in slightly, so if they were to come together and meet, you would form a triangle. Feel your weight kind of pressing into your first three fingers. Sink your navel, lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart, cow. 
Exhale, scoop and round the head. Inhale for cow. Exhale, round head. Inhale, cow. Exhale, round cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, round cat. Now bring yourself back to that neutral place. Extend the left leg behind and push out through your left heel. Let's reach the right arm forward, palm facing the sky. Exhale, lower and we'll switch. Right leg extends. Left arm comes forward, palm rotating towards the sky. Exhale, lower, let's switch again. Extend and reach. Now, try bringing your left knee to your right elbow and then re-extend. So we're gonna exhale, pull in, and inhale, reach out. Exhale, pull in, inhale, reach out. Once more, exhale, pull in, inhale, reach out. Let's come back to all fours and we'll switch. Right leg extends, left arm comes forward, palm to the sky. Exhale, pull in, inhale, extend. Exhale, pull in, inhale, extend. Once more, exhale, pull in, inhale, extend. Return to all fours. Let your knees separate while your big toes touch. Push your tailbone back. Once there, you're gonna let your chest sink between your knees, foreheads on the mat, and then try opening your palms to the sky, feeling that stretch going down the side of your ribs. Flip your palms back over, scoop the belly in, and round up for a nice cat stretch. Sink your navel, lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart, cow. Exhale again, round for cat. Inhale for cow. Once more, exhale, round for cat. And inhale for cow. And then just make your way back to that neutral spine. From here, let's tuck our toes under and push our tailbone towards the sky. Let your head drop through extended arms. Feel your rib cage pulling closer to your thighs. Feel the back of your shoulder blades drawing towards the gluteals. Nod your head yes. Shake the head no. And then just let it dangle there. Let's walk our dog, lift and lower each heel individually. Raise up both heels and press them back down. Try again, we raise our heels and press back down. From there, let's inhale ourselves forward into plank. If you want to modify, and simply drop to your knees. Make sure your abs are tight and we've got that straight line from the knees to the top of your head. Let's exhale back up into down dog. Inhale forward into plank. Exhale again, down dog. Inhale forward to plank. Now let's all modify to the knees and then from there we're gonna lower with the elbows opening. Bring your hips down, your, bring your chest down, your hips down, tuck your elbows in. Inhale, rise into cobra. Exhale, back down, elbows wide. Elbows tuck in, inhale, lengthen, cobra. Exhale again, going down. Inhale, rise into cobra. Now exhale, push all the way back. Extend the child's pose. Tuck the toes, come back up. Downward facing dog. A few more walks of our dog. Raise up your heels and press them down. Inhale forward into plank. Modify if you'd like, lowering down, elbows wide, chest down, hips down, elbows tuck in. Inhale, rise, cobra, exhale, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Inhale again to plank. Exhale as we lower. Inhale as we rise. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a giant step forward with that right foot. Once we've got a position so that our knee is over our ankle, our eyes are gonna look out, we're gonna feel that long stretch from the heel of our left foot, extending right out through the crown of our head. While here, try extending your right arm alongside your ear. 
and then your left arm as well. Open the arms wide for a nice airplane. And let your hands release. Step back with your right foot. Press back up into down dog. Inhale, return to plank. And exhale again, down dog. Now it's left foot that steps forward. Again, positioning the foot so that our knee is over our ankle. Eyes looking out. Feel your weight pressing into your first three toes on your left foot. Once there, add your left arm alongside your ear. Right arm also. And then let's open wide for airplane. Release your hands to the mat. Step the right foot forward. Once there, we've got our toes in slightly, heels out slightly. We're gonna feel our upper body just resting against our thighs. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Let's inhale, roll up, reach high to the sky. Exhale to your heart. Inhale to the sky and exhale to your heart. Inhale again, exhale, let's fold forward. Inhale, look out. And exhale, fold deeper. Right foot back, left foot back, hold on to plank. Exhale, lower elbows wide, chest down, hips down, elbows tuck in. Inhale, rise, cobra, exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank. And exhale, down dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes in, heels out. Inhale, rolling up, reach to the sky. Exhale to our heart. There's our first sign salutation. Inhale again, exhale as we fold. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Left foot back, right foot back, hold plank. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. And exhale again, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes in, heels out. Inhale, roll up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale to your heart. Inhale again, extend, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. And exhale as we sink. Right foot back, left foot back, hold plank. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, return to plank. And exhale again, down dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes in, heels out. Inhale, roll up, reach high to the sky. Exhale to the heart. Inhale again, extend and exhale as we fold. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Left foot back, right foot back, plank. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. And exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes and heels out. Inhale, roll up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale to the heart. And then let your arms extend at your sides. And there's our standing mountain pose. Spreading out those toes nice and wide, feeling the stability into both feet. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. And exhale as we sink. Right foot steps back into your lunge. Push your right heel down, turn your right toes out. Let's align our left heel with the back of our right heel and start lifting up our body. Squaring the hips so our hip bones are forward. Keep the weight pressing into your first three toes on your left foot and really stretch that right pinky toe so you feel it pressed into the earth. Let's add the arms overhead for warrior one. Draw the hands into your heart and let's rise. Again, hands to heart. And we rise. Hands to heart. And we rise. Fold forward. Hands make it to the mat. Return to the ball of your right foot. You're in lunge. 
Keep your right hand pressing in here, left arm to the side. Exhale, revolve at the waist, twisting lunge. Exhale your left hand down, center left foot back into plank. Modify if you like, lowering down, elbows wide, chest down, hips down, elbows tuck in. Inhale, rise, cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. And again, exhale, down dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes inhales out. Inhale, rolling up, reach high, touch the sky. Exhale to your heart. Inhale again. Exhale. Fold forward. Inhale. Look out. Exhale. Sink deeper. Left foot steps back. Coming back into lunge. This time it's our left heel that we press down. Turn your left toes out. Align your right heel with the back of your left heel. Start lifting upper body. Knee over ankle. Weight pressing into first three toes of that right foot. And we've got our hips facing forward. We're stretching out that left pinky toe. Feeling it. Grip the mat. Add your arms for warrior one. Hands to heart. Stretch to the sky. Hands to heart. Stretch to the sky. Hands to heart. Stretch to the sky. Open, fold forward, hands to the mat. Lift to the ball of your left foot, return to lunge. Keep your left hand pressing. Inhale, right arm to the side. Exhale, revolve. Twisting lunge. Exhale, your right hand down. Send the right foot back into plank. Modify if you'd like. Lowering down, elbows wide. Chest down, hips down. Elbows tuck in. Inhale, rise, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, return to plank. And exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes in, heels out. Inhale, let's roll up. Reach high to the sky. Exhale to your heart. Again, let's inhale, rise. This time, exhale, open just the arms. They're gonna hook together behind us. Roll your shoulder blades together. Think about opening your heart, tipping your head back, opening your throat. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, start to hinge forward. Leave with your ribs, folding down. Bend your knees as much as you need to, and then just drop your head, and let those arms reach higher towards the sky. Inhale, your hands to the mat. Right foot steps back into lunge. From there, let's walk around, and we form a nice straddle. So now we've got our shoulders over our hands. Our toes are straight ahead or turned in slightly. We inhale to lengthen, and then we exhale to fold. Let go of that upper body. Let it go completely limp. Let's press down through the palms so the arms push straight. Take your right hand, come around, grab hold of the outside of your left ankle, and then we're going to wrap the left arm under that left thigh. Give it a nice hug and draw your upper body towards that left thigh. Exhale as release and come back to that neutral place. Inhale with our flat back looking out. Exhale, arms go wide. Inhale, rise to standing. Once upright, palms to the sky. Feet should be a little wider than your hips with your toes and your heels out. Five pointed star. Lower the right arm, let it full circle around. Lower the left arm, full circle around. Again, right arm lower and circle. Left arm, lower and circle, and then both arms. Try one more. Good. Now let's turn our left toes to the front end of our mat. Align our left heel with our right arch. Keep your upper body tall, and start to bend your left knee. Let it find its way out over the ankle without pressing beyond your toes. 
Again, weight is really into the first three toes of our left foot. Well, here, try raising your left heel. Push the left heel back down. Let your right arm come up alongside your right ear. Extend the left arm forward and then start to lift the left as you lower your right. Turning your left palm towards the sky. Feeling the stretch traveling all the way up the left side of the ribs. Let's come back to our warrior two. Left leg pulls straight without locking. So we're pretty much back where we started. Body is open as if we're being pressed against the wall. Start to pull your right hip right as you extend your left arm out as far in front of you as it will go. Once we can't go any farther, we lower the left and we lift the right. Keep rolling your right shoulder open, feel your fingertips reaching to the sky. Breathe away any tension that you're holding in your shoulders or your neck. Inhale and triangle. As we exhale, bend the left knee, and you can either rest your forearm on your thigh or reach that left hand to the mat for extended angle pose. Now start to lower the right arm alongside the right ear. Face your right palm towards the sky. And we want to keep the side of our ribs facing the sky as well, and there's side angle pose. Inhale the right arm up, exhale it down. Once it's down, come back around, lift to the ball of your right foot, send your left foot back into your plank. Exhale, lowering elbows wide, inhale, rising elbows in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Let's try lifting the right foot notch high, but then pressing back into three-legged dog. Send the right foot through your hands, bringing you into your lunge. And then from there, we're gonna push our right leg straight. Extend the left leg behind us. Form a tripod with your hands and your right foot, and there's tripod balance. Remaining there or positioning your right thumb so it's in a straight line with your right pinky toe. And then roll your left hip open so your left hand is reaching towards the sky. And there's our half moon balance. Exhale your left hand back down if it's lifting. Let's all step the left foot in. We've got our toes coming closer together, heels apart. I want you to bend your knees like you're going to sit in a tiny chair. And while you're sitting down in the chair, I want you to pull your knees closer together. Now lift your ribs away from your thighs. Add your arms alongside your ears. And there's our chair pose. Inhale, let's rise from our chair. Exhale, hands to our heart. Inhale again, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, looking out, exhale, let's go deeper. Left foot steps back into lunge. Once there, we walk around into straddle, so now we should be facing the other side of the mat. Inhale, let's look out. Exhale, start melting. Remember, that knees is fine. I want you to get that upper body relaxed and actually and do a little movement with the upper body. And then let's push our palms into the mat, straighten the arms. Let's take the left hand now, grab hold of the outside of your right ankle. Right arm comes under the right thigh. We're going to start to draw that upper body right against our thigh. Mm -hmm. 
As we exhale, let's release. Once again, hands pressed beneath the shoulders. Inhale, look out for that back. Exhale, open your arms for airplane. Inhale, rise to standing. Ensure that your toes are in, your heels are out. You've got your feet a little wider than your hips. And then palms open to the sky. Rotate your palms forward and let your hands meet together. Once they are pressed, all of your fingers together. Lace your fingers and then press your index fingers together. Breathe between the shoulder blades and across the upper part of your back. Inhale, reach towards the sky. Allow your upper arms to frame your ears without feeling any tension in the neck. Think about getting taller like you're being drawn towards the sky out of your waist. Side stretch to your right. Come back up and side stretch to the left. Lift back up. And reopen into your star. Bring the backs of your hands together as you round. And then inhale, open wide. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. And then just make your way back to that neutral place. Turn your right toes to the front end of your mat. Align your right heel with your left arch. Think about your body open and pressed against the wall. Bend the right knee. It finds its way out over the ankle without pushing beyond the toes. We can feel our weight in our first three toes on the right foot. While we're here, lift your right heel. And push the right heel back down. Let the left arm rise alongside your left ear. Extend the right arm a little further out. And then as the right arm is lifting, the left arm lowers. Turn your right palm towards the sky. And breathe into reverse warrior. And let's return to warrior two. Pull your right leg straight without blocking. And there we are, right back where we started. Now we can start pulling our left hip, left and extending our right arm out. Going as far, far, far as we can reach. Once we can't go any farther, we lower the right, we lift the left. And we can feel the back side of our body pressed against the invisible wall. Keep tension out of your neck, keep tension out of your shoulders. One more inhale in triangle. On our exhale, let's bend the right knee. We can either place our forearm on our thigh or keep our right hand reaching towards the mat. I'll start to lower your left arm across your left ear. Let your left palm face the sky. Side angle pose. Inhale, your left arm high. Exhale, let's revolve upper body. Lift to the ball of your left foot, bringing us back into lunge. Send your right foot back into plank. Exhale as we lower. Inhale as we rise. Exhale again, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into plank. Lift the left leg not too high. And then press back into three-legged dog. Step the left foot through your hands. Bringing you back into lunge. But then we're going to push our weight forward onto the left foot as we extend the right leg behind us. Press out through the right heel. Form a tripod with your left foot. You can stay like that. 
or align your left thumb with your left pinky toe. Start to roll your right hip away from the mat. Add the right arm to the sky and that becomes half moon balance. Exhale, right hand down if it's lifted. And step right foot in. Toes come close, heels remain apart as we're bending our knees. We're sinking our hips, sitting down in our tiny chair. And then think about pulling your knees closer together. Lift your ribs away from your thighs. Extend your arms alongside your ears. Inhale, you'll reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. And then let's come back into our standing mountain pose. So from standing mountain pose, we're going to do a little standing balance. We're going to find a focal point for our eyes, fixate on that spot. Next thing I want you to do is really become aware of your center. So think about drawing your navel inward. When you're doing that, you're not holding your breath. You're just really becoming aware of the power from the center of your body. Begin to shift your weight into your left foot. Keep the weight pressing more towards the first three toes of your foot. When you feel ready, let's bend the right knee and bring the heel up towards your bottom. Place the inside of your right foot into the palm of your hand and let your left arm come forward. Now we can stay in this beginning stage or we can open our dancer. As we exhale, let's come back into standing mountain pose and breathe. So again, we're just fixating on a spot, focal point with the eyes, feeling the abdominals drawing in to hold stability, and then shifting your weight into our right foot, noticing that we're working to keep it in the first three toes of that right foot. And then when you're ready, bend your left knee, pull your heel towards your bottom. Let your foot rest in the palm of your hand and let your right arm come forward. Open your dancer if you'd like. As we exhale, let's release. And return to standing mountain pose. Inhale, touch the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. And exhale as we sink. Right foot back, left foot back to plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Left shoulder over left wrist. Let's turn to open side plank. Modification, side of the left knee can rest on the mat. Exhale, come back around into full plank. Press back up into down dog. Step the right foot forward into lunge. Keep both hands to the inside of your right foot and then let your left knee sink down. Press down through the top of your left foot. You can walk your hands a little farther out, let the elbows bend and let your upper body sink down. So we're moving into dragon pose. I want you to feel this in the back of your right thigh and the front of your left thigh. Let's walk the hands back in. Once upright, let's rise to the sky and form a crescent moon.
exhale, fold forward. From here, we're gonna send the right leg behind us, push out through the right heel, extend the left arm forward into spinal balance. Now I'll try to inhale, let's come forward into plank. Right shoulder over right wrist, let's open up, and there's our side plank. Exhale back around in the full plank. Press back up into down dog. Step the left foot forward. We're gonna keep both hands to the inside of our left foot. Let the right knee sink down. Press through the top of your right foot. Let your hands walk a little further out and we're simply sinking down into that dragon pose. Feeling this in the back of our left thigh and the front of our right thigh. From there, let's inhale and start to rise. And then we're gonna reach to the sky and bring us into crescent moon. Exhale, fold forward. Let's send the left leg behind us, push on to the left heel, add your right arm forward for spinal balance. And then try lifting your right foot while you're here so it's not helping your balance. Bring the hand and the foot back down. We tuck our right toes under. Press up into three-legged dog. And then let's inhale, come forward. And bring ourselves back into plank. From there, let's Modify to the knees. And let's walk our hands in closer to our knees. We'll keep our toes curled under as we lift the upper body. Make a fist with your hands. And let's bring our fists together behind us in our lower back area on either side of the spine. While that's happening, we're gently pressing in as we're opening the heart, opening the throat. And we can stay in our preparation for camel or you can reach your hands down so that your thumbs are on the outside of your ankle bones. Last of your fingers on the inside. Let's refist the hands. Inhale, neutralize the spine. Exhale, let your feet, tops of your feet press into the mat and start to pull back with your tailbone. Melting your ribs towards your thighs. Letting your forehead come to the mat and then just rolling your arms down alongside your shoulders. And spreading the arms forward. Spread your knees a little wider, big toes touching, but sink your ribs down between your thighs. Let's pass our right arm through our left arm. Don't let your shoulder rest on the mat. Bring that out with switch, left to right. Bring that out and then both arms extend, pushing back through your tailbone. Walk your hands closer to your knees, and then just simply press your body away from the mat. Once there, we'll come around in the seat. Let's extend the legs out almost straight. Keep a slight bend in your knees. See if you can reach forward to your big toes, hook around those toes, and then pull your ribs towards your thighs. Once there, try to push your legs a little straighter and let your body mount a little farther down. And then we can release our toes and roll back up. 
Once we're back up, let's bend our knees. Place our hands behind our thighs. Relax our shoulders from our ears. Maintain a nice straight spine. But find your balance on your tailbone. Once you're balanced, see if you can extend your legs straighter or longer. No worries about getting them all the way straight. Once there, let's add the arms. And then as we exhale, let's slowly open down. And then once we're down, push out to the heels of your feet. Reach out through your fingertips. Let the body go soft and pull your right knee to your chest. Extend your right leg towards the sky. Walk your hands up as far as you can and think about pulling your toes over your head. We're going to take our right two fingers, hook them around our big right toe. That's one option. The other option is to put your right hand on the inside of your left ankle or maybe on your calf. Or maybe you want to hold your pant leg. Whatever is going to work best for you to hang on. Now put your left hand on your left thigh. Pull those right toes farther over your head. Then we're going to start to open to the side. But I want you to do that without lifting that left buttock. So if you can slide your left hand under your bottom, that means you're pulling your hip off the floor just to get your leg out. I don't want that. I want you to keep your left buttocks in contact with the mat. Let's inhale the right leg back up. And then from there, we can bend the right knee, hug it close to the body, gently circle around. And then we'll send it out onto the mat, and let's pull the left knee in. Start by extending that left leg. Walk your hands up as close to your ankles. You can think about pulling toes overhead. And then we're going to use, again, second and third fingers. Left hand hooked around your big toe. Or put your hand on the inside of your ankle or your calf. Right hand's going to stay on the right thigh. Pulling our toes farther overhead while we're opening out to the side. Let's bring the leg back up. And we can bend the knee, hug it in close, and let's circle the knee around. And then from there, we'll send it all the way back out onto the mat. Good, now stretch your arms out wide so now we look like the letter T. We bend your knees, feet on the mat. Cross your left leg over your right, so it's like you're sitting with your legs crossed. Start to drop your knees to the right. As they're going right, your left shoulder stays pressed down. Use your right hand to push gently on the outside of your left thigh. Let's bring our knees back to neutral. We can uncross and then recross the other way. Same thing, start to drop your knees to the left. We're going to keep our right shoulder on the mat. You can use your left hand to push gently on the outside of your right thigh. And then from there, let's bring it back up. And let's uncross. Good. And then bring your arms close to your body, palms to the sky. Toes in slightly, heels out slightly. Let's go back up in the bridge. All right. I want you to hold it there without feeling weight in the neck. And then we're going to slowly inch back down. And then once we're down, Send the legs out one at a time. Feel your body start to dissolve into your mat. From 
continue to breathe deeply. And I want you to feel and visualize your breath as it's traveling around the body. Spending a little extra time in those areas that feel a little extra tight or areas of the body that give you some kind of issue. Each day is an opportunity for a new beginning and a chance to grow and share our hearts, our love, and our lives to the fullest. Sometimes that means just making the most out of the smallest things, like listening to each other, holding each other's hand, or just being together. Love flows from the beauty around us. Love smiles through those we hold, especially dear. Love speaks soft words that help guide us. Fill your heart with the kindness of friends, the caring of everyone you love and the richness of memories you wouldn't trade for anything. Let us send away all of our anxious thoughts and make a decision to live today with courage, with an open heart, a grateful heart, and a hopeful heart. Remember that my soul honors your soul. I honor the place in you where the entire universe resides. I honor the light, the love, the truth, the beauty, and the peace within you, because it is also within me. In sharing these things, we are united, we are the same, we are one. Namaste. Namaste.